Let's look at drawing distance time graphs. So the example says a person drives to their sister's house, which is 100 kilometers away, taking one hour. They stay for half an hour. The person then goes to their brother's house, a further 50 kilometers away, taking 45 minutes to travel and staying for 45 minutes. The person gets home in 90 minutes. Draw a distance time graph. So we have axes here with distance labelled on the y-axis and time labelled on the x-axis and we've also got the units for distance which are kilometres and the units for time which are minutes. So we're going to use this to draw our distance time graph for this example here. If we work through this sentence by sentence then in the first sentence we're told a person drives to their sister's house which is 100 kilometres away. So we know that we need to travel a distance of 100 kilometres and this takes place in one hour. So one hour in minutes is the same as 60 minutes. So what we would do is we'd go across to 60 minutes and up to 100 kilometers and we'd plot a point. In this graph, we'd have 60, 100, and so our point would be roughly here. Since we're starting at the person's home and since there hasn't been any time that's passed, then the graph begins at the origin. So that's this point here. Connecting the two points gives us this straight line here. So that's the first part of the journey. We're then told that the person stays for half an hour. So if the person has traveled 100 kilometers to get to their sister's house, they're now going to stay there for half an hour, then the distance that they're traveling isn't changing. In other words, it's staying the same. And so after 60 minutes, we add on 30 minutes to get to 90 minutes and that's how long the person stays at their sister's house. So we're going to plot another point at 90 and 100. So we have this point over here. If we join the two points together, then we get the following for our graph. We're told that the person then goes to their brother's house a further 50 kilometers away. So if the person is 100 kilometers away from home, they're going to travel a further 50 kilometers away. And this takes 45 minutes. So what we're going to have is we're going to have that we are at 90 minutes and we add on 45 minutes. So 90 plus 45 gives us 135. And so 135 on our x-axis, if this is 120 and this is 150, then we've got 130, 140 in between. And so halfway we have 135. We're going up to a total distance of 150 kilometers away from home since we were already at 100 kilometers and we're adding on a further 50. So if we go all the way up to 150, then we end up having our point here. We're then told that the person stays at their brother's house for 45 minutes. So if we're at 135 minutes now, we add on 45 minutes, then we get 180 minutes. And since the person is staying at their brother's house, then the distance is neither increasing or decreasing. And so if we go up to 150 kilometers at 180 minutes, then we have a point which is here. And so connecting the two points together here, we end up with the following graph so far. Now the final sentence says that the person gets home in 90 minutes. So if they're 150 kilometers away from home, then they're going to travel the full distance back to get to home. So in other words, we should end up on the x-axis since that represents a distance of zero kilometers away from home. So we're adding 90 minutes to 180 minutes, which gives us 270 minutes. And so we should end up at this point. Joining these two points together, we end up with the following distance time graph. And our distance time graph is now complete for this example.